Hey, Gemini. Welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. This is going to be your reading for uh, the week. We are, the weeklies are back. Big announcement. Um, there is a video out there for you guys, you know, that announces that the weeklies are coming back. But I also ask for some input from you guys on a couple of things um, on like themed readings and stuff like that. But if you could get a ch if you get a chance, please watch that. It's a very, very short message. It says great news on the, the title of the video. Um, and says some other stuff, but it starts out saying great news. So um, check that out. Uh, it talks about, you know, the new schedule I'm going to put in for the readings. I'm trying to squeeze more readings in for you guys. I want to do some themed readings. We're going to add the weeklies back in. I know everybody has missed the weeklies. We're keeping the love monthly. There's a lot of information on it. So um, check it out. We're keeping dailies. We're keeping weekends. Not much is changing. And you're just adding. We're adding and adding and adding. All right, so guys, please reach, uh, please watch that video and comment down below and let me know what you think about the questions I asked, okay? Anyway, um, let's get into it. This is your weekly reading for Gemini. Anyone with Gemini placements for, um, well, the, the weekly for this week is a 10-day reading because I like going from weekend to weekend and because of the way July 1st came in the middle of the week. So we're just going to do that little part of the week plus the next week. So this is gonna be, the first one's gonna be a 10 day reading. So for July 1st through 10th, 2021, for Gemini, what do we need to know for anyone with Gemini placements? As always, this could resonate at another time if you're guided at another time, okay guys? And it's for anyone with Gemini placements, soulmates, Oh, nice. Beautiful. What else do we need to know for Gemini? Is there anything else important? Soulmates and why? Why? What? Okay, I want one more now. Give me one more. What else do we need to know for Gemini? Why do we have why? <laughs> oh, why is your soulmate not talking to you? Why are you guys not together? What is this? Tell me more, Spirit. Anything else? Treasure Island. Oh, my God. And Loyal Heart. Look, I'm giving you more cards than I gave anyone else because I wanted to wanted to get to the bottom. You, I mean, you start out with this crazy good card of soulmates, right? And then we get why, which leads me to believe you're not with your soulmate. Okay, so we got Treasure Island. Like, this is what you want. You want to be so badly with the soulmate. And your loyal heart. Look at it. Oh, my God. This is just like the soulmate's card to me. I'm going to put it right next to this. Okay, so the problem is you don't understand why you're not with this soulmate right now because, you know, this is supposed to be. I mean, in your mind this is a no-brainer like this is treasure island this is everything now keep in mind you know it could be the other way around but i highly doubt it it's your reading and these are your oracle cards okay let's get into it and see what we can come up with here spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know for this gemini reading what are the most important messages we have for the people that need them the most for anyone with Gemini placements, July 1st through 10th, 2021, or whenever they're guided to see this reading here on YouTube. I'm sorry, these are a little difficult. They're they're like shuffling bricks, I say. They don't have any bend to them at all, and they're heavy, hard cards. But totally worth it. All right, we have soulmate, loyal heart. Loyal, wait, soulmate, loyal heart, why, and treasure island. What do we need to know about this reading? Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible. Please allow me to bring through the messages they need to hear the most as accurately as possible for the people who need them. Gemini reading. All right, what do we need to know here? Soulmates, loyal heart, why treasure island? Eight of wands, nine of wands reversed. Six of coins reversed. Gemini reading. Oh, chariot. Beautiful. Lovely. Eight of pentacles. Somebody else had eight of pentacles in the same exact spot. 
I wish I could remember who. Could have been maybe Aquarius. I'm not sure. It was so long ago. I don't remember because I've been stuck on Gemini's reading for hours and hours and hours and hours. And that's a long story. If you want to know why, read the comments on the Gemini reading because I left them a comment about their reading and how hard it was to get out. Anyway, one more card for Aquarius. I'm sorry, Gemini. Gemini. <laughs> I don't know why I said Aquarius. Because I, I could have been Aquarius that had that there. If it wasn't. If it wasn't Aquarius, maybe it was Virgo. I don't remember. All right. Anyway, so Gemini. What do we need to know for Gemini? Soulmates, Loyal Heart, Y, and Treasure Island. Soulmates, Loyal Heart, Y, and Treasure Island. Gemini. You know, it could also be that you're trying to figure out a connection with someone. Okay, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. What do we need to know? First 10 days of July. Whoa, that's way too many. Can we just maybe get one more? I feel like your card, like this is it. I feel like Spirit's going, there's your reading. Enough's enough. <laughs> one, re one more, please, for Gemini. Just one. Okay. If we aren't going to get one, guys, I'll just move on. Sometimes we're just not meant to have any more than that, and we'll just clarify them. I just don't want to force it. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got two more. Excellent. All right. So, yeah, four of cups, king of wands. And at the bottom, you have strength and reverse. All right. So, that is Leo card. Okay. Could be Aries. Could be um, Sagittarius. But it's usually Leo. All right, I just, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Now, let's take a little peek here. Very interesting. So we have the Seven of Cups, someone trying to figure out why. This card is for me, someone who is healing while they're trying to figure something out. They just don't know why. That was one of your cards. This person just doesn't know why, and they're trying to figure it out. Um, boom, there we go. Soulmates. We have temperance, the higher level two of cups. This is Archangel Michael bringing people together, bringing the right soulmates together. The soulmates, the loyal heart, those two cards show me that there's something going on here. And then we have strength reverse. So your soulmate could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be because it also could be a Cancer. Mm hmm. They can't, they come out. And we also have, um, king of wands i feel like that is the leo energy but it could be aries could be sag but let's get into it and see what comes out could yes yeah, sagittarius is here too look with the the strength reverse so you have leo sagittarius and cancer coming through already very strongly all right let's get into it spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading oh did i show you i'm so sorry eight of wands this is the nine of wands that came out reversed. This is the six of coins. It also came out reversed. Look at all the hands sticking their hand out to, to get something from this person. We also have the chariot. Beautiful. I love the chariot in this deck. It's gorgeous. We have the eight of pentacles, which has been coming out a lot in the last couple of readings, or at least not. I don't remember because Virgo held me up so long. Um, the Four of Cups, and now which way was this? I don't know. I want to say it was reversed, but I'm not sure. It doesn't matter, but I'm, it doesn't matter because I'm going to be reading it intuitively anyway. We have the um, King of Wands. All right, so let's just take a peek here. This might have been an upright, but this card for me is always someone who's healing just like this one, and someone else had both of these cards as well. I wish I could remember who. But it reminds me of the same type of healing where someone is like, why? And looking at the cup, like, why? Where's my soulmate? Why? Healing. This reading makes so much sense. Why? Where is my soulmate? What happened here? And Archangel Michael is here trying to bring it together. So let's find out what happened here and why. All right. So, um, or what's going on? But you do have that Treasure Island card, which is really important. Um, there's an opportunity here, you know, to say the least, or at least you feel there is. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know about this reading? 
it is the Gemini reading. It's for uh, July 20, July 1st through 10th, 2021. For anyone who's guided here to see it on YouTube, um, it is Gemini, anyone with Gemini placements. We've got Soulmate, Loyal Heart, Why, and Treasure Island. What are the most important messages we need for this reading? Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible. Some of you, Gemini, could have... Um, could be, you know, a cusper on the cusp of, um, of cancer. But let's keep going. What do we need to know about this reading, please? What's most important? Um, let's look at Eight of Wands for the Gemini reading. What do we need to know about this Eight of Wands? Beautiful card. I mean, this is something really, really nice happening. It's like, it feels like a breakthrough to me in some way. What do we need to know about Eight of Wands? You got Eight of Wands and Chariot. They are both full speed ahead cards. Eight of Wands, what's important? Gemini reading. There it is, your partnership. Look at it. Beautiful. The Two of Cups. Excellent. Let me see what this one is. I don't even know. Keeper of Boons. Keepers in this deck are kings, I believe. Yeah, they're king. Um... This deck is different than any other deck. So the keepers are kings. So this is the king of pentacles reversed and the two of chalices, or they call it the two of visions in this deck. This deck is very unique. This is the um, enchanted, oh, what's it called? Enchanted something or another. Tarot of enchantment, I think. Yeah, I think it's called tarot of enchantment. It's beautiful, but it's very cool, but it's it's very difficult to read. It's not for beginners at all, okay? Um, but they call things different things. I'll explain them as we go. So you've got the Two of Visions, which is the Two of Cup, and the, and the Keeper of Boons reversed, which is the same King of Pentacles you got over here. So right now you have got the Two of Cups twice up here with Soulmates and Loyal Heart, and you so you're getting repeat cards, and it has to do with that Eight of Wands. Something is moving forward. But why is the King of Pentacles reversed? I'm not sure. But this is wish fulfillment. We got the star at the bottom. Beautiful. They call it the starlight in this deck. Starlight. Beautiful. Something's moving forward with this King of Pentacles. Um, this King of Pentacles could be you if you're a male um, Gemini. And you could be encouraged to go towards or communicate with your person. So keep in mind, because you're reversed there, you... And you have a card of movement and communication. You might be encouraged as a Gemini man to communicate or move towards your person. So keep that in mind, Gemini men um, or masculines. For feminines, it could be the same for feminines as well. But um, there's something going on here about why is your why is your king of Oh, this is not Pentacles. I don't know why. I always see this person as Pentacles. This is King of Wands. Okay, this is a different king. Okay, so this could be someone you've gone through some kind of a breakup with or someone who's not happy with you or you could not be happy with them. It's the King of Boons. It's the Keeper of Boons, which is the King of Pentacles reversed. Why is the King of Pentacles reversed here? There's, I mean, you got all these beautiful cards and you got this king who could be very, you know, I don't know, something's going on with this king. Wait a minute, he's the King of Six of Six of Coins reversed. Is this man doing something with money? I feel like he's doing something with money. I want to go over here to the Six of Coins reversed. What do we need to know about the Six of Coins reversed? Why is it here? What do we need to know? So you could be in a financial agreement with this man. Why is the um, Six of Coins in the reverse, please? Why is it here? Eight of Swords reversed. So this is the Eight of Challenges. Um, that's the Eight of Swords. But see how she's not trapped at all. She's covering her own eyes. She's not blindfolded. She's not tied up. There's no swords around her. She is completely free but refusing to budge. It's in reverse, which is good. So you're getting released from some kind of financial situation. It had something to do with this man. Tell me about the King of... Uh, I'm sorry, the Keeper of Boons in reverse. Keeper of Boons in reverse. 
This is the King of Pentacles, guys, in reverse. What do we need to know about him? It's like you were in some kind of a keeper of visions. So King of Cups came up. Okay, so we have two men in partnership together. Um, the King of... Now, this could be female because uh, King of Cups for me is sometimes feminine. So this could be a feminine or masculine coming through as the King of Cups, Keeper of Bo uh, vig Visions, I'm sorry. So we have a partnership. He's reversed. So he's unfortunately, excuse me one sec, I need a drink. Hold on. Mm. Unfortunately, <laughs> The Keeper of Boons, King of Pentacles, is reversed, and the Keeper of Visions is in the upright. And they are um, a partnership, and there's some kind of information or something coming through. The only thing that worries me is one of them is coming off very um, kind of money-hungry, kind of greedy. Um, he's coming off not great. Um, and with someone's releasing themselves over here or someone's getting released from something where there was a financial drain. And if I see the king of, or the keeper of boons, which is king of pentacles reversed, with the six of coins reversed over here, I feel like he took money or did something. So let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Tell me about the nine of wands, nine of wands reversed. Gemini reading. Why is the nine of wands in the reverse? Now, keep in mind, this person might have promised you a raise, have promised you a promotion. It could be a work situation. We have the eight of pentacles here. That's really what it feels like. Tell me about the nine of wands reversed. What do we need to know? Your partner could be going, or your boss could be going through a financial problem here. There could be um, financial issues in at work or something like that that is the problem. Okay, Nine of Wands reversed. What do we need to know? Just give us one card on Nine of Wands reversed. Here we go. All right, this is Council of Animals, which is the judgment card. Okay, came out reversed. So is there something about someone feels, someone feels like, yeah, eight of boons again. This is a work situation. Eight of boons, that's eight of pentacles again, same card. Okay, someone feels like um, they can't win in a situation at work. Tell me about the chariot. What do we need to know about the chariot? This this per this man that's a partner, or you know that you consider a partner, or they consider a par I don't know which one's you. Okay, so the King of Boons here reversed, um, the King of Pentacles reversed. I feel as though he's suffering some kind of financial loss of some sort. I don't know exactly what kind or why, or if it's you that's suffering a financial loss because of him. Because sometimes when I see it with the six of coins reversed, this person could be, you know, taking money um, in the partnership. Let me look at the chariot. What do we need to know about the chariot? Gemini reading. Oops, gosh, almost lost them. No, nope. okay, it won't go back in, so it must be here. Three of visions, okay, three of chalices. There could be three people involved. Uh, and the reason I say that is because not only that, we also have this king of wands over here, but uh, or, and we have this cancer chariot sitting right on top of it. All right, so do we have three or four men involved? And, or like I said, this keeper of bones, I mean, keeper of visions, the king of cups could be the same person, a cancer. There could be three people involved here. A king of pentacles reversed, a cancer in the upright, and a king of wands who might be a Leo in the upright. Okay? And that's what I feel coming through. All right, let's look at the eight of coins. This is job related. This is business related. This is partnership related or something like that. Tell me about eight of coins. What do, okay, there it is. Ends up in my hand. What is it? 
Ace of Boons. That's the Ace of Pentacles. It's reversed. Okay, coming out on the Eight of Coins. Exactly, because we have some kind of financial drain here, but that's being released. I feel like this Eight of Coins, this Ace of Coins is coming. I do. I never feel like an Ace in reverse it means you're not getting it. It makes me feel like something's got to give. Okay, so something, something's got to give. Either someone has to look at it again. Judgment reverse. Somebody has to get released from some obligation financially that's draining. Eight of swords reverse. Six of coins reverse. Something's got to give. And then ace of coins will flip in the upright in this situation. I feel like it's a work situation for most of you. Tell me about four cups. Oh, wow. Beautiful. The white, what do they call it? The white heart, the full, the white heart, the full. Beautiful. I don't think I've ever had this card come out before. So the leap of faith. Okay. So someone is being called to, now this cup is coming in and someone's looking at it, but they're very hesitant to accept it. Right. And the full says, Take the leap of faith. So somebody here is being encouraged. This could be love. It could be. It could be someone wanting to come back together with someone after they've gotten rid of a third party. Oh my God. Okay. Well, let's look at this. King of Wands. What do we need to know? I mean, it feels so business-like because of this Eight of Pentacles has showed up twice already. Show me about the King of Wands. So, and you know, and it still is going to be business related for some of you. So that's not, that story still stands strong, probably for a lot of you. All right, King of Wands. What do we, no, I didn't, wasn't even concentrating. King of Wands. What do we need to know about this man over here? Why is he showing up like this? King of Wands. And that is the oldest one, the Hierophant. Okay, came out reverse. So here's the Hierophant in reverse. So this person, I have to say at the bottom, we have the Black Shuck too. That's the death card. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um. Wow. So... Why is, is it, I think it is the death card, yes, right, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why is King of Wands coming up with the Hierophant reverse? So this person's going to be an Aries, Leo, mostly a Leo or Taurus is coming out strong for this person. Okay, let me keep looking here. What do we need to know about this King of Wands? There's got to be more information about the king of wands what do we need to know about them please gemini reading five of wands reversed okay this is um drama this is fighting this is they call it the five of spells okay but it's the five of wands so there is so this person is fighting with something government agencies or um or a corrupt investor or something like that and not getting the money they're supposed to get okay what does cancer have to do with this what does chariot have to do with this this is like a third party three of cups cancer they look good king of wands looks good cancer looks good it's this um capricorn taurus or virgo person that doesn't look the best let me look at this for a minute oh wow the wild is it say wild oh the wide world that's the world in reverse. It came out reverse, but it came out with the six of wands. Nice winner. So whatever this cancer has to do with this, this is all positive. Oh, this came out in the upright, the six of wands. They're going to, whatever this is, this wide world, this inability to, it's, something's not done yet. It has to do, like, this is like a third person involved. This person's going to overcome something here, whatever this is. Um, there's some kind of celebration and victory. When I see three of cups and the six of wands together, this is like, woohoo, we're having a party. 
and this world will come in because this just like the ace of pentacles this is something that something's got to give for it to come in so since something's not quite complete we're still working on this but this is all coming in for the chariot is as well as a card of victory for me always if you watch my channel you know that this is like winner winner it's just like six of wands for me huge win huge win okay so we have something going on with a huge win could be cancers have something to do with cancer which could be you gemini your sister sign is cancer i feel like this is all your energy of something coming in and like i win unless you're dealing with a cancer that's very close to you and you guys are working on this together because there is a partnership here um and you could be coming through as the king of boons right uh, I feel as though you guys are overcoming something here. And if you're the king of wands coming out with fire in your chart or just a very fiery energy here, Aries Leo or Sagittarius, strong Leo, um, I feel like you've been dealing with a lot of drama, bickering and fighting and something to do with business, government, something I think, feel like this king of pentacles is not paying you or giving you the money you're supposed to be getting. There's something here about that. But when I see the, um, yeah, there it is flipped right over the, um, the, what is this? The 10 of, 10 of cup, uh, 10 of pentacles. I'm sorry. 10 of pentacles flipped right over when I was talking about it. This man is not giving you this money because he also flipped this flipped over as well. He is showing up as a reverse emperor. This is somebody who does shady things. So this person's not giving you or hasn't given you your money and you're fighting for it. You're over here fighting for your money and this person's doing shady stuff. I feel like something's going to come out about it. Yeah, some information. Look, look, it's the um, child of spells. That is the page of wands reversed. Something's going to come out about something negative this person is doing. There's something this person's doing that is shady, a shady AF. Let's put it that way. Um, and you've been dealing with the drama and the BS and the this and the that. And somehow this person over here, this third person is very successful in something is this person I when I saw when this came up the hermit was at the bottom is this person this um, cancer energy person is this person going to is this person going to be the one that brings you information that you need about this person and what they're doing and I feel that that's the truth okay let's get um let's get some after tarot real quick I have I don't think I pulled after tarot for everybody I didn't but I'm gonna pull it for you because I feel like we need it. What comes next in this situation for Gemini? Because there there were so many different energies. It's hard to say which one's you. I feel like, I really feel like you're either this cancer energy or you're this fire energy that has been fighting this person up here who took something from you or isn't paying up. Like this would be a business person or somebody who was supposed to bring in the 10 pentacles. And here it is, the ace of pentacles, it's coming. But this person's going to say something that helps you. Tell me about, um, or or you are the person saying something to help the fire sign. Okay, so keep that in mind. Which one of them's you? All right, let me get, um, a, yeah, this is coming to a close. The world just flew out of there. This cycle is coming to an end. I feel when something is exposed, tell me what we need to know as we leave this Gemini reading. Yeah somebody's being kept from information see how this person's being kept from information give me one or two more um cards please and what comes next here gemini reading there we go the magician and one more please what else do we need to know because whoever this is that you're dealing with over here that's going to speak up about something yeah they're your soulmate and it doesn't matter if you just know them by business, okay? It doesn't matter. This person is your soulmate. You're supposed to come together to do something together, to go down the same path together, to help each other in some way. This is going to bring a lot of joy to this situation. 
whatever happened here is going to help bring joy and going to help heal a situation that's been difficult. And this situation has been difficult because there's been someone in the mix of all this that was very negative. And even if this is love, same story goes. Someone involved in here was King of Pentacles reversed probably an earth sign that's not a good person okay that that's like a con artist or someone who's stealing or someone who is trying to cause trouble even drama in your life okay and i feel as though somehow this person and you are going to take that person down and this was a corrupt person i feel like this was you know hierophant reverse six of coins reverse king of pentacles reverse comes off very con artisty to me okay all right guys i hope that that helps we're also going to um, grab a couple of angel cards here and remember you could be the one coming in to help this person okay whichever way it works but somebody's coming in to bring down a con artist probably an earth sign um, man capricorn taurus or virgo probably all right, what do we need here, please? What do we need to know? Gemini reading. What do we need to know? Anything we need to know. Delight. It's about to get a lot better. I told you there's good coming in here. It's just about divine timing. Education. It was a karmic education. When every, this is one of my karmic cards. So whatever, dealing with this person, probably in business or love, was a karmic education you're going to be delighted it's going to get a lot better the tenderness card just makes me know that it's going to get a lot softer in your life i'm going to grab one from underneath i want one more faith yep absolutely so faith to dive in we saw the full card here and that's important because the when the full card shows up it means you're going to be asked to jump into something you're going to be asked to take a leap of faith and spirit says just trust it you're going to be delighted take the leap of faith this has been an a uh, karmic education for um you guys i feel two of you have dealt with somebody that was very karmic anyway guys i hope that you enjoyed this reading um the weeklies are back comment down below let me know if you guys are happy having them back um if you guys need a personal reading my information is directly beneath this video in the description area you might have to tap on something to get that the price of the readings to come up the information i'm talking about my email uh my paypal link all that you might have to tap on something so it depends on what device you're on all right i know somebody brought that to my attention and i want to keep reminding you guys if you guys want a personal reading please reach out to me by email um, if you do reach out to me by email and want a personal reading, please write on the subject line, personal or private reading or emergency reading if that's what you're booking and expect to hear from, back from me after Monday, like probably Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll be getting back to everybody because it's um, our holiday here in the United States. So as soon as I'm done the weekly readings, I'm going to take a little break with my family for a couple of days, okay? All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for joining and have yourself a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to watch that, um, that announcement I put out. It says great news with an exclamation point. Watch that one. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.